is saline lagana okay that is called a drip so you have to take medicines drip bhi lagana padega shayad boiled water you should drink and food without oil and spices okay so when you have typhoid डॉक्टर विल टेल यू टू ईट फूड विच इज़ वेरी ईजी टू डाइजेस्ट अगर उसमें हम मसाले वगैरह डालते हैं तो क्या हो जाता है इट बिकम्स हैवी फॉर डाइजेशन ऑयल एंड ऑल मेक्स इट वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू डाइजेस्ट दैट इज वाई इफ यू आर हैविंग टाइप ऑयल डॉक्टर विल टेल यू टू ईट वेरी सिंपल फूड विदाउट ऑयल विदाउट स्पाइसिस एंड बेड रेस्ट इज ऑल्सो रिकमेंडेड तो आपको बेड रेस्ट करना है और बहुत ही सादा खाना खाना होता है सो दीज आर ऑल द कम्युनिकेबल डिजीजेस विच वी हैव सीन हियर ओके नाउ द फ्रेशर द फूड वी ईट द हेल्थियर वी विल बी सो इफ यू ईट वेरी फ्रेश फूड फ्रेश फूड मीन्स प्रिपेयर फ्रॉम फ्रेश वेजिटेबल्स एंड ईटन इमीजिएटली आफ्टर इट इज कुक है ना जैसे ही मम्मी ने बनाया है तुरंत ही उसको खा लेने से वॉट विल हैपन योर बॉडी विल बिकम मोर हेल्दी जैसे ही सब्जियाँ सूख जाती है तो उसकी सब्जी भी अच्छी नहीं बनती है राइट right? और उसको मम्मी ने सुबह बनाया है और आप उसको रात को खा रहे हो देन ऑल्सो इट इट्स न्यूट्रिटिव वैल्यू डिक्रीजेस ओके वो फिर सड़ने लग जाता है खाना इज इट इट सो यू शुड नॉट ईट सच फूड विच इज़ केप फॉर अ लॉन्ग पीरियड ऑफ टाइम आफ्टर कुकिंग यू शुड ईट इट इमीजिएटली तो जितना आप फ्रेश खाना खाओगे उतना ही आप हेल्दी बनोगे ब्रेकफास्ट इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट मील ऑफ द डे सबसे इम्पॉर्टेंट मील जो होता है द टाइम वेन यू ईट दैट इज द ब्रेकफास्ट वाई बिकॉज सी द होल नाइट यू डोंट ईट सो योर बॉडी इज Wanting more energy as soon as you get up. जैसे ही आप उठ जाते हो आपकी body को फिर से काम करना है तो उसको energy चाहिए और since you have not eaten the whole night, the body has not got energy. So breakfast you should have very nicely. अच्छे से breakfast करना is very very important. Then only the body will run through the day. है ना उसको energy मिल जाएगी सुबह में तो पूरा दिन अच्छे से काम करेगी सो यू शुड ईट द ब्रेकफस्ट एज इट गिवस अवर बॉडी एंड माइंड द रिक्वायर्ड न्यूट्रिय एंड एनर्जी टू कैरी आउट द फंक्शंस फॉर द रेस्ट ऑफ द डे वी शुड नेवर स्किप ब्रेकफस्ट कभी भी ब्रेकफस्ट छोड़ना नहीं है यू हैव टू ईट ब्रेकफस्ट इट विल कीप यू हेल्दी फॉर द होल डे एनर्जेटिक फॉर द होल डे सो यू शुड ऑलवेज ईट द breakfast okay so that's it for today tomorrow we shall continue up with non communicable diseases okay so that's it good morning children so let's start again we saw about the communicable diseases in the last video communicable diseases are the diseases which are spread from one infected person to a healthy person example corona virus isn't it 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 is affecting people on a very huge scale nowadays so we are taking precautions isn't it now we move on to the next that is non communicable diseases so these diseases are such that they do not spread even if you are having the disease uh the person who is in your family or the person who is with you they will not have the disease okay such diseases are called non communicable diseases so a disease cannot that cannot be passed on from one person to another is called as non communicable disease such diseases are mostly caused by the deficiency deficiency means shortage okay if you are not eating some type of nutrient then you may have this disease so these are also called as deficiency diseases or deficiency disorders why because sometimes the body is not getting the uh, required nutrient from the food and so the disease happens 
such diseases are mostly caused by the deficiency of adequate number of uh, adequate amount of nutrients in the diet so as i said if you are not eating eating some type of nutrient uh, regularly in your diet then there is a shortage there is a deficiency in the body of that nutrient and so your body uh, gives you a disease because of it so then you can cure it by taking in that type of nutrient isn't it uh, if i have a deficiency of protein i should eat proteins regularly afterwards then my body will start getting the nutrient and that disease can be cured okay if it has not uh, been very uh, uh, what you can say severe in the first stage then it can be cured so the table shows some common deficiency disorders their symptoms and the food that should be taken to prevent these diseases so again let's look what are the deficiency diseases or disorders which happen due to the lack of some nutrients and what you should eat which food you should eat to uh, get that nutrient in your body okay first one is anemia anemia is a disease which is caused because of iron deficiency iron is a mineral okay now this mineral is very important in making of your blood aapka blood banane ke liye iron is very important so if you don't eat iron uh, rich food what will happen your blood will not be made your blood will be of very poor quality and then your body will have to uh, give you problems isn't it because you are not giving it the required nutrient that is why so anemia is caused because of iron deficiency symptoms are weakness that is you feel very weak you have no energy fatigue that is again very tired feeling है ना बहुत आपको थकान होती रहती है इवन इफ यू हैव नॉट डन एनी थिंग यू विल से कि मुझे बहुत थकावट हो रही है ओके दैट इज कॉल्ड फटीक देन डिफिकल्टी इन ब्रीदिंग सांस लेने में भी बहुत तकलीफ होने लगती है यू यू कैन नॉट ब्रीद प्रॉपरली ओके सो ऑल दीज आर द सिम्टम्स ऑफ अनिमिया वॉट यू कैन ईट यू कैन ईट रेजिंग एप्रिकॉर्स मिल्क मीट apples green leafy vegetables there are many food stuffs which are rich in iron so if you eat those things again your body will get the iron and it will become healthy again okay night blindness night blindness is a vitamin a deficiency means you are not getting vitamin a in the food that you eat so what happens in that night blindness night blindness means uh, you will not your eyesight will become very poor okay aur raat ko especially jab andhera zyada hota hai aur jab uh, there is no natural light then your eyesight is very weak so even if you put on the tube light and lights your visibility will be very low okay that is called night blindness yani aapko bahut kam dikhna lagta hai okay especially raat ko bahut zyada problem hoga dekhne mein so inability to see in poor light or at night jab thoda andhera ho and there is no uh, natural light then you find it difficult to see that is called night blindness carrots sweet potato animal liver red capsicum and lettuce are the foods that you should be eating next is beriberi beriberi is a vitamin b1 deficiency vitamin b1 again a vitamin name what uh, foodstuffs contain the vitamin b1 if you don't eat then obviously your body will lack have a deficiency of that vitamin and it will give you problems what happens is weight loss weight loss yani wazan kam ho jana 
weakness very weak you will feel low heart beat heart beats become very slow and low they decrease okay heart beats very low and tiredness affects the growth of the body and muscle formation so your body is becoming very tired and the muscles are not being formed okay muscles are not being made uh, because of the deficiency of vitamin b1 bean cereals peas fish nuts and watermelon all this food contain vitamin b1 which can be eaten and you will have again the vitamin b1 in your body and so your problem can be solved next is scurvy now scurvy is a vitamin c deficiency vitamin c if it is low in your body you can have a disease called scurvy what happens in it irritation bahut chidchida pan okay that is called irritation then swelling of joints jahan par bhi joint hai hai na these are the joints these are all the joints where your bones hai na meet that part is called joint so all the joints of your body will swell sujan ho jayegi wahan par suj sujan ho jati hai okay they swell then bleeding gums gums means the flesh part which is connected with your teeth that part will start bleeding wahan se khun nikalne lagta hai so this is all because of scurvy guavas papaya citrus fruits tomatoes grapes and berries citrus fruits means thoda sa khatta khatta pan hota hai those are called citrus fruits so when you eat all these 